We're going to make this a quick one and talk through how to install two types of mods in PAL World for both Steam and the Xbox Game Pass client. Now before we begin, there are two types of mods. One are going to be script-based mods um, that are just end up changing the logic of the game, so giving you things like limited sprint speed or higher carry weight. And the other types of mods are going to come in the form of archive files or .pack, and these change the look and feel of the game. It usually includes things like assets, textures, sound, and these just replace the look and feel of the game overall. Now when it comes to installing scripts, whether if you're on Xbox or Steam, the first step we're going to have to do is install the Unreal Engine scripting system. This is pretty much what gives us the platform um, to allow us to inject the scripts into our game and modify our existing game logic. So we're going to head over to the GitHub and go ahead to jump into the releases. And I'm going to go ahead and download the um, X input zip. Now I'm not going to go over how to download mods, you could get that from either SourceForge or Nexus, but go ahead and put everything you need in one folder. So here I have my mods I need, in addition to the uh, scripting system that we just downloaded. So I'm going to set these aside and start off with doing this for Game Pass. So jump into our Game Pass client, uh, first step is to head into and go to the file location. So I went to Manage, Files, Browse the Location, and we're going to keep these up side by side. So the directory that we're going to be after for Power World to copy over our scripting system is going to be Power World, Content, Pal, Binaries, and WinDGK. As of right now, I have some files already in here since I have it installed, but for you, you're not going to see the mods directory, you're not going to see the X input uh, DLL, or the INI file. So the first step here is to go ahead and extract everything within the scripting system we just downloaded, jump to the directory, and copy over the mods folder, INI, and the X input DLL. I'm gonna copy and paste them, overwrite these folders as if I'm doing it with you, and the two changes we're gonna make after we copy these over is to rename our DLL, and to jump into our INI, and assure that um, object array is set to false, Keeping this on true cause, causes some crashing on start. Um, so once those are set up, the third thing we're going to do is go into the mods directory and go ahead and just delete all the folders in here. In addition to opening up the mods.txt file and delete all the settings in there. Since we installed our scripting system, it comes with some, I guess, some pre-baked examples of how to reference things and pass things along. But since we're going to install some mods from fresh, we're not going to reference anything. Um, but as of now, we're ready to start installing our own mod. Now I'm going to head back into my directory uh, and go ahead and unzip my, my weight increase. I'll throw the directory in there and double check to make sure I'm in the root directory. And I'll go ahead and do the same for my fine remove stamina. Double check to make sure I'm in the right directory. Copy that over. And the next step is to make sure I pass these on in my uh, mods.txt. I'm going to go into my folder, pass the title of my mod, base colon 1, flag it is on, do the same with the other mod, I failed to save it, make sure to save that, double check, that both these are passed, and now these are both technically enabled within my game. So now I can just start my game to validate both these are working. Now we jump into our world, we check our weight, and then we're sitting at 2500. And if I go ahead and drop down one of my mounts, we can see that he also has limited stamina. The confirmation that both the stamina mod is on and that the unlimited carry weight mod is also working too. Now we're going to close out of this and jump straight into the next one, which is going to be installing our asset pack. Similar to before, um, we're going to head into manage files, browse, but instead our first location we're going to go into was going to be content, pal, content, and packs. So this is the directory you're going to go ahead and drag and drop any of the .pack file extensions that you have. And for my example here I have the misty pack, I'll go ahead and extract that, drag and drop. Close out of that, restart my game, and since I am a female, character model it should take place. 
And for context, it's just a reskin of the base redheaded model. If you use any other type, you'll probably see their head clip through, kind of like you do on the neck here. But there you go. Now, uninstalling is just as easy. Into the same directory. First, we're going to do the Misty pack. Let's go ahead and delete that, and I'll remove any of those assets. And for the binaries we installed, oops. And for the scripts we installed, jump back to the DGK, go into your mods directory. Back to DGK, go into your mods directory. And for uninstalling, it's just as easy. Head back into your Pow World directory, content, Pow, content packs. We'll delete our Misty pack, and then we'll jump back into content, Pal binaries, win GDK, and then jump into the mods directory, and just delete the mods we no longer want. So we'll remove the flying stamina, and remove that reference. Save that. Boot up our game, and we are good to go. No longer Misty. We're gonna head into manage and then browse local files. The location we're after is going to be pal binaries 164. And the files that you're not gonna see is gonna be mods, x input, and uh, Unreal Engine uh, settings that I and I. So these are gonna be the things we're gonna first extract from our scripting system we downloaded. Once that's done, we're going to copy over the mod directory, x input, and our i and i directory. Drop those along, I'll replace them just like I'm following along here. And then the step number one is to go into our i and i, set our object array to false to avoid any issues when crafting, and be sure to save that change too. Now, we go into our mods directory and get rid of all the preset mods it came with here and remove all the settings in the mods.txt. And now we're ready to upload our mods. So we're going to go ahead and do the weight increase one. I'm going to double click just to make sure I'm in the root directory. Copy that over. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the remove flying stamina. Copy that over. And once both of these are copied over, next is just going to be passing the titles and flagging them as on. We're going to do the weight increase, base colon 1. I'm going to do the same with flying stamina, base colon 1. Save that file. I start up my game. I don't have a mount, so I can't test the other one. But if we head into my character and look at my weight, See, my weight capacity is definitely increased while I'm sitting at level 9. So from here, we're just going to jump straight out and test adding the Misty pack. So I'm going to go ahead into Manage, Browse Local Files, head into Pal, Content, and Packs. And this is going to be the location you're going to drop in any of your dot pack file. So I'm going to extract Misty here, copy in this asset. And similar to before, I'm going to go ahead and start the game. So I start game, I'm going to a new one. And then we're going to go ahead and see that the Misty model is going to be on the redhead. And there she goes. Now to uninstall, the steps are just as easy. I'm going to head into PAL, Content Packs, and just delete that archive. And we're going to go into the binaries, 164 and mods, and delete the reference to weight increase. And just remove that from the file here too. Go ahead and remove both. We'll start up our game just to validate. Now if you found this helpful do give a like and do give a sub. I plan on making my own mod coming up next so maybe I'll do some content around that but thanks and have a good one.